My classroom represents just the outlet of my passion. I guess it is an expression of myself, of the things that I'm interested in, the things that I want to share with others. It's kind of like inquiry-based learning. For example, the lab that we did the other day in class, they weren't given a set of steps as the procedure. They were given the variables and they had to come up with the procedure on their own. Um, so just kind of giving that hands-off guidance um, and letting them make the decisions, but also letting them know that it's okay to make mistakes. That there's not necessarily, um, it's not all just a means to an end. It's the process. Um, and there's not always just one way to do a process. And I think that's really important for eighth graders to learn because um, they haven't always had that lesson. I think I want my students to have a better understanding of the processes of the earth. But again, it's just a kind of a bigger picture as well. Letting them know how the processes uh, based in science affect us as people. And so I do, I try to kind of interweave empathy and the, the human aspect into the scientific perspective. I like to share my passion and I like to see it grow in them. I know that not everybody's going to take off and be a science major or get as excited as I am, but even for just that glimpse of a moment to have my passion reflected in, um, in their work or in their participation, um, really kind of is my philosophy. That's just kind of the goal that I set for myself uh, every single day. 